Welcome to this week's update on the hedged option portfolio. A little later than usual this week, so I'm filming this after the Friday expiry, which was this morning. At the end of the previous video, I again had several short puts expiring on the Friday, and I was waiting to see whether they would expire in the money or out of the money, and therefore whether I needed to roll them. The 57k put did expire out of the money, so a full profit there, but I had to roll the 60k out another week to this morning's expiry. Bitcoin showed some strength this week, touching 64k briefly, after being down at 52k only two weeks ago. I was short one call during this move, which I've now had to roll out two weeks, as it expired in the money this morning. That's fine though, as I have protection above in June still, in the form of a bull call spread. The short call of course did have some losses, but I was glad that I stuck to my plan of not selling too many calls when the price dipped lower. The expiration this morning was at around 63,500, which meant that the remaining 62,000 put expired out of the money. I closed the 59k yesterday for three basis points. So on the put side, I'm back to the usual short term selling. Look at the current positions and you can see those here. We're already short options on the 21st of September expiry. You might have noticed that the quantity of the legs in the ball call spread in June are no longer equal. I added to the long 120k call without selling more of the 160k call. The reason I made this specific adjustment was to fix the maximum profit in Bitcoin terms rather than dollars. I'll bring up a chart to explain. With even size, if the price is anywhere above the short strike at expiry, so this is the short strike here, the spread will be worth $40,000 per quantity of one. How much Bitcoin this is worth will depend on exactly what the price is. The higher the price goes, the less Bitcoin I'll receive, as you can see on this part of the chart. The Python code for this option visualizer is also free on my GitHub, and I'll put a link to that in the video description. If I add to the long leg such that the ratio is the inverse of the ratio of the strike prices, I can flatten out the payout in Bitcoin instead. So to do that, I'll add to this, the long leg, change the size to 0 0.4, and then plot that. And you can see I've flattened out the Bitcoin payoff. The ratio between the strikes of 120,000 and 160,000 is three to four. So if my sizing is the reverse of this, meaning four to three, which I've done here, then my Bitcoin payoff will be flat once the short strike is breached, which is up here. This costs a little extra, of course, but provides a slightly better hedge. I have been intending to do this for a while, but I didn't need the extra upside cover until now. The equity of the account is continuing to head in the right direction. You can see we're at about 0.273 now. So this is a look at the uh, P&L over time. The account is up about 9% since I started using this account for YouTube videos, which was about 10 months ago. So as you can see on the P&L analysis, there were some quite large gaps where I wasn't doing much trading. Since June, the activity in this account has been much more consistent though, and I intend to keep it that way for the foreseeable future at least. At the start, which was in November 2023, the 0 0.25 Bitcoin I put into the account was worth about $9,250, and the current equity of about 0 0.273 is worth around $17,200. So the account has made a very nice return in dollar terms as well, largely driven by the increase in the Bitcoin price over that time though, of course. I'll go into a bit more detail on the performance in November once there is a year worth of data. The primary goal at the moment is to continue to increase the amount of Bitcoin in the account and not focus as much on the dollar value. So let's crack on with that quest and place some new trades. I'm already short puts in the 21st, which is tomorrow. So I'm going to short some more puts on the 22nd. Spread this across two strikes, possibly. It's a little awkward here because I don't want to sell too much below the mark. So I'm going to stick an order in at 75 basis points for now. And we'll see how that runs. No takers still at the moment, even though we're priced slightly better than the mark on both of these. Oh, there we go, we've got one fill. This one should get filled soon. It's un unusual for it to sit. 
price so much better than Mark for too long. And there we go, <laughs> as I was saying it. So this is the portfolio as it stands. Uh, thanks to selling those two puts, the, the delta was actually a little negative before those two trades, but now it's back to positive. And we've got quite a healthy theta number here. So if the price doesn't do too much in the next couple of days, uh, then we'll pull in a nice amount of uh, value and we'll go again next week. The only position I've currently had to roll out further in time is the 60k call, which I'm now short on the 4th of October expiry. The rest of the positions are either longer term cover, although this 27th of September is no longer long term, uh, but it's mostly cover and then short puts in the next couple of days. So happy to just leave this for now and see what happens over the weekend. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.